With more than 6,000 B-24 Liberators in use at any one time during the height of their employment worldwide, overseas scrapyards collected Liberators as they fell out of service during World War II. Those scrapyards could be a treasure for clever mechanics who never let a part go to waste. The U.S. Army documented interesting examples of GI ingenuity with wrecked B-24s, placing stories in their ongoing combat bulletin film productions during the war. Here are a couple of examples. Salvaging the parts of B-24s and other aircraft wrecked beyond repair is nothing new. But an Air Corps quartermaster outfit with the 15th Air Force in Italy has given a new twist to the use of scrap metal from the busted up planes. That's a mess tray he's outlining on a piece of dure aluminum selected from a heap of discarded metal. When they get a sufficient amount of adequately sized old metal, they'll start producing the trays for the boys at the base. What is taken away for this purpose actually makes only the slightest dent in the scrap pile, the bulk of which is returned to the States to be sold. The scrap metal is unloaded at the quartermaster machine shop, where the design and method for producing the trays have already been worked out. After cutting off the rough edges, the selected pieces are given an acid bath. A tech sergeant with experience as a die maker perfected the mold, and the rest is as simple as all this. The press is, of course, standard equipment belonging to the machine shop. Practically ready for use, a compartmented tray that'll do away with the pileup of several courses on a single plate. Surface dirt is removed. Rough spots trimmed clean. And the tray is ready for issue at the next mess call. Old mess kits are turned in for the new serving tray. It makes things easier all around in dishing out the grub as well as receiving and eating it. A lot pleasanter than disentangling the spam from the string beans in the bottom of a mess kit. hot, GIs sometimes do more than just dream about a cold can of beer. Here's a refrigerator made of airplane parts salvaged on Kwajalein. Two layers of paneling from a wrecked B-24 form an air insulated case. One pound of Freon from an aerosol bomb is transferred from the anti-mosquito front to this empty walk-around oxygen bottle. A valve controls the distribution of the flit turned refrigerant. The junk liberator which donated the case also kicks in a de-icer motor. The motor pump builds up pressure in the refrigerant. That liquefies the gas. When the compressed liquid in the bottle is released into the coils, the lower pressure lets it vaporize back into gas, but cold. From de-icer to icer, that's the story of these salvaged fuel lines doing as coils. Operating in them, the pound of chemical refrigerant will last as long as the island made frigid air. Snacks from the States used to spoil as soon as opened, but not now. And in the freezing units where ice cube trays belong, eggs promoted from the natives keep fresh. 